like that. Easy peasy. Huh? Huh? I can't hear nothing now. I need uh, ear protection. <laughs> the channel uh, today we're going to be replacing this old older carrier uh, we're going to rip this down run duct work up clean the line we're going to run a new line set um, clean everything up we're going to run duct work down through um, pick up two returns upstairs um, kind of re re-engineer the fence a little bit Chris? okay thank you, you and then uh, I'll show you the AC okay right, here's the AC um, Goodman, uh, pretty pretty bling. We're gonna be taking this off and we're gonna be putting in a Bosch uh, IDS 2.0. Uh, it's doing the dip switch to make it a two ton. Uh, we're gonna put a new disconnect on with an ICM surge uh, monitor and all that stuff there. And like the new line set, make clean it up really nice. Cause this is kind of a, like a hodgepodge uh, kitty wampus install. I'm getting ready to wire up my Eaton disconnect box. Got these at Home Depot. This is the ICM-493 single phase line monitor with built-in surge suppression. Uh, this will help protect that uh, $2,000 control board on this Bosch. Electronics, it'll, it'll take them out any kind of power surge or anything like that. this here this is your 24 volt contactor your power comes in here to L1 L2 and it comes out T1 T2 and this just basically gets tied and this is your air conditioner or heat pump side and this is your power side and you get your grounding lugs here and uh, yeah I'll show you how to do that So, I got these a little long, which I rather have them long than short. And then this is your this is your heat pump side, and this is your power side. And we'll basically just push it all up, and there it is. And you have a little screw. The screw here goes in here, locks everything in place. It's a nice setup. All right, got my line set all done. Pumping down now, down about 159. I'll let that run for a couple more hours. Um, so I had a comment not too long ago. They were kind of curious on these wires. So on these Bosch heat pumps, the brown is your common. Yellow is for your air conditioning. White is for heat. And then the B or blue is for your reversing valve. So with this heat cycle, so once once we go in, if it gets too cold out and this thing starts to go in defrost mode, it'll actually kick on the furnace or your, or your uh, emergency heat, which is your our furnace, which will heat up the evaporator coil and to help keep these lines warm, which will help 
dethaw everything. And if I'm not if I'm not explaining that correctly for you season heat pump techs, leave it in the comments section below. But I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Because um, up here in Michigan, we don't use too many heat pumps, and I just I just started putting these in a couple years ago, and I really like them. Uh, and they they work a lot better than a traditional heat pump because it's an inverter and it uses only like three amps of power. I mean, look at that board. And so this is our dip switch setting. I can't remember. So, J2, right there, J2. This is a two-ton model. We come over to J2. Oh, J2, we switch this to off. Right there. Now that is a two-ton. It's set up for two-ton, and I have a 24-30 uh, coil downstairs. So this is a two-ton unit. It comes set up as a three-ton. You just do that sw dip switch, and it's dialed in for a two-ton. That's all you got to do. All right, day two of two. Uh, we're doing the duct work today. We're gonna got to do our drop, and we're gonna run some duct work down. Schwinn's doing his custom Schwinn, Schwinn metal work systems. This is all patented material here. Nobody can do all this but us. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, I uh, had to do some creativity here to get next to the beam. So, morning, Tyler. Good morning. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get this done here in a little bit and we'll give you some updates. All right, we are done. And I think I'm gonna tell the homeowner you can't be using his Kirkland Merv 2500 filter because If you can hear that but it is sucking hard I tried selling him an April air but he didn't want an April air so he's gonna have to go with the old cheapos or a little bit less restrictive one inch filter but we are done metal turned out great Corey did his magic in his magic show and the metal work. Oh, everything's done finally. Way to go, Sven. Way to go, Tyler. Listen to this, Corey. Yeah, that's what it does. Maybe it's like a row four or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I might have to tell him that. Alright, if you got any value out of this content, smash that thumbs up button and we'll see you on the next one.